this is like a dream. The coral is so colorful and you can see the Nemo and it's so beautiful. <laughs> Wow. Today I'm taking you to a stunning destination that has always been high on my bucket list, Komodo Island. We did a day trip from Flores exploring all the best spots, the Pink Beach, Padar Island and we also went to see the Komodo dragons. In this video I'm going to show you how a day trip in Komodo is so you can decide between doing a longer sailing boat that many people do or if you have limited time like us, a day trip boat. So stick around. We are here in Padar Island in our Komodo uh, trip, and it's already so beautiful. Yeah. There are deers at the beach. <laughs> and they're just chilling with this beautiful view behind the mountain it's really really pretty yeah so now we're going up the stairs to get to the top of Padar Island it's 850 steps it takes about 15 to 20 minutes and then yeah, we are already tired because of all our <laughs> bags <laughs> uh, but yeah I'm super excited to see from up there Padar Island is absolutely beautiful. The unique weather with a mixture of dry and tropical creates a very distinctive scenery and that's why the region has many endemic wildlife. We had about one hour to do the hike and enjoy the views until we headed to our next destination, Pink Beach. We're gonna go to the Pink Beach, we're gonna go snorkeling, see the mantas. So I'm very excited for the rest of our day. <laughs> Just arrived at the Pink Beach. Ah, it's so pretty. We are here at Pink Beach. The sand is actually pink. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's pink because of the coral. And now we're gonna go snorkeling. See if we can find some nice wildlife. Our guide, hello. <laughs> He's gonna show us the Komodo dragons. <laughs> the Komodo dragons are really impressive animals. They are the largest and heaviest lizard in the world, growing up to three meters in length, and they are also venomous. The hike to see them was only 45 minutes, and we could see four different ones. My honest feeling is that they are not fully wild, as they say. The vibe is like from a zoo visit. I don't have enough information to say if they were drugged up, but they are supposed to be very aggressive animals and active, but these ones don't even move much. The guides take tourists extremely close to them just for selfies. Hopefully I'm wrong. I have heard that there is a longer hike option that you go 4 hours into the island to find more wild ones, so probably I would have preferred that option. Uh, we just left Komodo Island. Had a bit of mixed feelings, feelings maybe I can talk about it a bit later. I don't know. I can say what I thought about the island and what what we thought about the um, how the tourism happens there. But yeah, uh, besides that, we are having a lovely time. The island, the beautiful nature, the color. 
On that day, mantas were not there, but the ocean didn't disappoint us, and we saw a lovely turtle and much more diverse marine life. <laughs> we just got to the last stop of our day and it's called Kanawa Island. It's so pretty. You can see the corals from the top. It's very, very pretty. And now we're gonna head back to the boat, I think, and go back to La Buen Bajo. Um, Bajo. But they are saying Bajo now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> ask Carlos. Carlos is our guide. Uh, we're gonna ask how they speak, how they pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming with us. After visiting all these different places, our trip came to an end. Now, what's my opinion about a day trip instead of a three-day sailing boat? I absolutely loved spending the day, but this place is too beautiful for only a day. So I would recommend doing a longer option where you can stay more in each stop and fully enjoy it. Would I not recommend doing the day trip? I actually would. If you have limited time and can't fit three days, you won't regret doing the fast boat like us. So thank you so much for watching this episode and if you want to see more of my adventures and more about my life as a digital nomad, make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one.